welcome back to my channel. It's been a little while since I made some videos. Um, I've been working on furniture and selling it on Facebook Marketplace, and it occurred to me I should make videos and show you guys how I'm making the furniture. So um, I'm going to kind of give you a little, um, a little overview of some of the furniture that I've already made and sold, and then I'm also going to show you some things I'm working on now. Um, my plan is anytime I do a project, I want to record it and show you guys how I do it because I've learned so much about refurbishing furniture. Just, I mean, from watching other people's YouTube videos, you know, and then just experimenting myself. I'm, I'm like a furniture rehab addict. So I don't know if I need to change my channel name or not. I'll let you know. Um, but anyway, my name's Angela. If you have never visited this channel before, um, I am in my pajamas because I am doing work and I don't really feel the need to get all gussied up to work on furniture. So the first thing I want to show you is this table right here. Um, I just started it. It The bottom of it is, let's see if I can get you guys a little closer here. So the bottom of the table is like a, like a wood color that I'd done before and I'm probably going to leave that because I like it. But the top just wasn't working for me. So what I'm going to do on the top of the table Let's see on the top. Can you see me? Ah, it's been a long time since I used this camera. Let's see. Yeah, whatever. On the top of this table? Top of this table. Where am I looking at? Good lord. There we go. Top of this table. Okay. So I have two of them, by the way. Um, and so what I did is I put one coat of mint green on the table. And I am using chalk. I'm using chalk paint. Let me zoom out. You guys don't want to see me that close. Um, I might not even edit this video, so if you need to fast forward, go ahead. Um, I just want to make it for you guys and show you some stuff. So um, I am using chalk paint, and I actually make my own chalk paint right now. Um, I'm just getting into this furniture rehab stuff. I've been doing it for like probably six months. But um, when you purchase chalk paint, it is like really expensive. If you make it, it is super cheap. And I have found that my recipe, I mean, I've tried several different things. And, you know, like I said, watch YouTube videos to see what to do and what everybody else is doing and this and that. But the recipe that I use, um, this stuff sticks. Like, you know, you put it on and like, you don't even have to have a clear coat. My, uh, my four year old was rubbing one of her toys, just rub, 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 rub all over this newly painted piece of furniture that I hadn't even clear coated yet. And I was like, ah, and then I looked and like, she didn't even, she didn't, didn't take the paint off. And the cool thing about chalk paint, and I'm showing you, it's in a Gatorade bottle. Um, I would suggest taking the lid off, or not the lid, the uh, the label off. Because one time I made some stuff in a Yahoo bottle, and it was pink, and everybody thought it was uh, strawberry milk. So <laughs> um, be careful about the bottles that you use. But I mix my own chalk paint, and I mix my own color. So that's why this bottle is a little functified, because I have mixed some colors in here. So what I ended up with was this lovely mint green right here. Um, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and put another coat of chalk paint on the top of these tables. And um, what I did prior to starting this video is, um, like I said, I put one coat on the, on the uh, table. And then I took and lightly sanded it with like a 400 grit sandpaper. That's the cool thing about chalk paint is when you put it on, if you have any bumps or anything like that, it sands off so smooth. Like you can get the smoothest finish with chalk paint. It's really super awesome. Um, so I encourage you to, if you're into painting or want to get into painting, definitely check out chalk paint because it is, it is the bomb. So let's get started. Um, first thing that we need to do is we need to, we need to shake it like a Polaroid picture. Yeah, so shake your chalk paint up really good. Especially if you've pre-mixed it or if you've made your own chalk paint because, well, as you know, things separate. And um, I will, I'll make a video for you guys showing you um, how I make chalk paint. Um, the basics, now on the internet, it always says to use um, plaster of Paris. Or I've seen, I've seen one using baking soda and I haven't tried that out yet. But on the internet, I'll say use, you know, plaster of Paris. Um, mix the like dry plaster so then you mix it with water to make wet plaster and then you add that to your latex paint and um, I was trying that for a while but every once in a while I get like chunks in my plaster it was just even though I'd mix it really well for some reason like if 
if the paint was a little thicker or I don't know what, um, I get chunks. And yes, it's easy to sand, but a bunch of little chunks is a pain in the bunk. So um, I had some pre-mixed plaster from when I finished my basement. And I mean, it's like older than dirt, but I decided to just grab some of that pre-mixed plaster and then add a little bit of water to it and give it a good shake in and all that. And then I added that to my latex paint and I have not had any chunks since. So um, just kind of a cool little thing. Another thing you can do, if you do have some chunks in your paint and you don't want the chunks, you take and you put it on a paper plate. And then, hang on, let me show you. Okay, so you put your paint wherever you want it. Whoa, it's early. I haven't been drinking, but I can't keep my balance. Okay, so let's say we're gonna use it in this. Um, what we would do is we would take this mesh. This is just um, mesh like you might have under a skirt or a bunch of it for a skirt, I whatever, I acquired it. So you take, you pour your paint in the container. Then you take and put the mesh in the container. So then when you're dipping your paintbrush in, the mesh will not allow the paintbrush to pick up any of those chunks. So that was, that's my like, uh, I just discovered this and because I'd mixed up a couple of things of chalk paint that just, they were too chunky and I didn't want to throw them away because, you know, I'm a DIY person. I'm all about, I'm all about saving money and everything. So I'm like, no, we have to save it. So it, I'm glad I did because now I can use it with this method and it's, I mean, I've got like a ton of this stuff and it's not that expensive and this is just a lucky charms cup. So we're good there. Um, just a couple of tips, you know, before we get started, I'll put this back. Okay, let me, let me get you guys to where you can kind of see what I'm doing here. Let's see. Let me tip it down a little. Oh, it doesn't want to go down anymore. Well, that's not good. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we'll tip it down so you can see. There we go. And I like to listen to music, so I'm going to have to have some music on during this. Just a second here, people. Just fast forward through this stuff that is just boring because um, I it takes a lot of time it takes a lot of time to make the furniture so I don't know how much time I'm gonna have for editing so my videos might be a little bit long but just fast forward until it gets to the part where I'm like doing stuff okay because I really want to show you I just don't have time to edit a lot and yes I should have got the music playing beforehand or whatever Hopefully it won't pick up so much that I get some copyright notice, but I just, I have to have music going while I do my projects. Music is good. All right. Okay, so my next tip, so I mixed my own chalk paint and I made up my own recipe and then I discovered that the ladies that were painting a lot with chalk paint were using like these really, I'm trying to see you guys but I don't want to move the camera, um, they're using these really expensive brushes and they seemed really soft and it seemed like they picked up a lot of paint and I tried to get one at Walmart and it ended up being a wax brush which is not soft and does not pick up a lot of paint. So I had a makeup brush makeup brush like not even a super expensive one just a decent one um, and I tell you what this makeup brush is my absolute favorite brush to paint with because it picks up a lot of paint it doesn't leave um, paint lines it it's wonderful so we're gonna paint with a makeup brush you paint with whatever you want um, I painted there you go okay so I painted with chip brushes and all kinds of different brushes and I tell you the makeup brush it it really does the best um, unless you go spend you know twenty twenty five dollars on one of those really expensive 
um, chalk paint brushes, but a makeup brush works just fine. So I'm gonna pour my paint into a container and get my mesh over it, because this is paint that I mixed prior to my new recipe, so there might be chunks and I just don't even, I don't even wanna go there with the chunks. So I'm gonna get that set up. This is one of those parts where you just kinda wanna fast forward. So I'm just cutting myself some mesh, just enough to, I'm going to use a plate actually, um, so just enough to go over the plate. And, and one, another thing um, that's really important is scissors. There's scissors that's for fabric. Can you see me? Yeah, I'm kind of a goof. Um, there's scissors for fabric and there's scissors for paper. You cannot use your scissors for fabric on paper because it will dull them. It's really, really important, okay? I just have to tell you that, because um, Fiskar scissors, they are awesome. They stay sharp forever, but if you start using them on paper, then they don't work for the, you know what, for the fabric. I mean, they'll cut like multiple layers at a time. So, um, use the right scissors. I've actually got two projects going on, the two tables, and then I also have an end table that I keep stepping all over around um, that I'm working on, or not an end table, a, um, a, a coffee table that I'm working on that's kind of blocking me, but I've, I'm going to paint it the same color, so I just wanted to keep it right here. So here we go, we're going to get the paint ready. Okay, so I got my plate right here, my mesh, give more good shake. Never shake it up too much unless it says don't shake because of bubbles, and then that's not good. But you don't have to worry about bubbles and chalk paint, so just shake it up good. And then, oh, one of the things with chalk paint is the chalk will seal the the chalk like seals the lid, so sometimes you have to get it wet or you have to like really use some force. So hopefully I don't have to run and get it wet. Ah, okay, I got it. Whoa, oh, I almost fell into the other coffee table. Whatever. Okay. Here we go. We're going to pour our paint. Now, um, I personally, if I have paint on the side, I'll just take my finger and kind of put it back in. Because um, I don't want to use my brush because I don't know if there's chunks in that part yet. So, um, see, you can see there's just a little bit of little bit of chunk going on here. That's, so that's why I'm using the mesh. But you'll see once I am all done that this works fantastic. So you just put your mesh. It's time to celebrate. Only discover matches all the cash back you earned. Good stuff. And then once the once the mesh like um kind of sticks to the paint, then you don't really have to worry about it going anywhere. So now see my mesh is right there. My paint that is going on my brush is nice and smooth. And with chalk paint, you don't really have to paint in any direction. You can just like the first coat of this table, um, my daughter actually did, and she's four. So um, it doesn't really matter what direction you go because, like I said, um, when you're done, you can sand it to just a nice, smooth finish. Or if you prefer to have brush strokes, which is really cool because the chalk paint um, is thicker. So you can have brush strokes if you want and then do some kind of a glazing technique, you know, to bring out those brush strokes. And if you don't know what glazing is or any of that, we'll get into that later too. But I'm going to get started painting the second coat on here. And your first coat of chalk paint isn't necessarily going to look good, okay? Um, but the second and third coat, or second coat just depending, will look wonderful. So as you can see, this brush just, it puts the paint on. You don't want to put it on so thick that, you know, um, just, it's better, it's better to do uh, several thin coats than one thick coat because it allows the paint to dry better and it just goes on better. So, 
Like I said, I'm not really going any particular direction because when I get done, I'm just gonna I'm gonna sand it all smooth anyway, so it won't matter. And then just to give you an idea of what I'm there we go. Okay, so whoa. Um my camera battery died in the middle of me trying to talk to you guys about stuff. So I'm not really sure what I said or didn't, but I'm painting this green. I'm using mesh to avoid any chunks. And it doesn't matter which direction I go with my brush strokes because I'm gonna sand it all nice and smooth. So here we go, painting some more. And the cool thing about chalk paint, like I said, is you know if you're selling furniture and you wanna get stuff done quick, have one of your kids do the first coat. The second coat, I mean, you really, you wanna pay a little bit more attention to just to make sure it's, you know, you don't go back over your brush strokes that are halfway dry and, um, and kind of make that not work, if you know what I'm saying. When you go over brush strokes that are halfway dry, sometimes the paint pulls back up. So your second coat, you probably wanna do yourself. But, um, I mean, unless, you know, depending on the age of your kid, you know, a four year old, obviously, it's probably not gonna be doing the second coat, but, you know, my, nine-year-old daughter, she might be doing the second coat. She's really good. She helped me with one of them. She did a great job. She's home from school right now because she doesn't feel good. You might see her in the video or here, or you might not. I'm not sure. Okay, so we're just getting all around the edges. And I just like to get the edges first. Um, this table has a an inlay of brass that goes all the way around. Um, and I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to let the chalk paint just kind of fill that in and cover it up or whether I'm going to bring it back out again. Some of it is kind of sticking out, so it might be wise just to, to bring that back out again, which is really easy. You just take a straight, you just, here, I want you guys to see what I'm talking to. You just take a straight edge and a razor and just rub the paint off of the metal. And one cool thing about chalk paint is it dries fast. So sometimes by the time you're done, like say painting the top of something and you've already painted the bottom of it, the bottom's dry. So then you can just go back and do your second coat right there. Um, you do want to wait after you've painted it. You want to wait like, you know, overnight at least before you put any sealer on it because you want the paint to be as dry as possible. Um, paint can take up to, uh, Gosh, what is it, 25 days or so to cure, just depending on the paint. So, and, and it, it's dry, but cure means like all the way dry, all the way hard, all the way good. So just keep that in mind when you're first using your furniture, no matter what kind of paint, it's not just chalk paint, any kind of paint. Or, uh, or clear coat. And if this is a bad angle, um, I'm working on that. I'm used to doing like little motivational speeches for you guys and how I stay happy and you know little craft videos so I'm still still got to figure out this how to position the camera for painting furniture I think I'm gonna move you guys a little bit let's see here oh, that's not the right one <laughs> twisting the wrong thing on my camera like I said Probably not gonna do a lot of editing, so just feel free to feel free to fast forward through all this. Let's see, can you see better? Okay, kind of looks like you can see better, maybe. All right, let's finish her up. Well, her him, I don't know. So this is just kind of like a mint green, and what I'm gonna do after it is all dry is apply a coat of sealer over the top of it, and then I am going to do what's called glazing. And you can buy specific glaze for glazing, or you can use um, a variety of things such as furniture stain. So I use furniture stain because again, I'm 50. Furniture stain is much less expensive than uh, the glazing product. And it works just as well. 
Plus, I like to do a little distressing. So when I do the distressing and then I do the glazing, where I've distressed, the uh, the stain stays there. So it looks really cool. Okay, so let's see here. Just kind of gonna go over some spots that look dry, either because they're dry from me painting them or dry because I didn't get that part. I'm listening to this Selena Gomez song. She can't keep her hands to herself. Oh, it's very unfortunate. Hope she doesn't get in trouble. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I think we're just about good on this. I think this table might do, we might do a third coat on this one. So this is coat number two. Coat number two. Now we're going to dos. Number, numero dos. Uh, um, now we're going to work on the other one. So hang on a second here. Can I help? Okay. Um, yeah. Can you, can you do it awesome, right? Okay, you're going to do it awesome, right? You're not going to get paint on your clothes, right? I want you to get paint on those cool pants. Okay, all right. My, uh, my little girl here that's homesick. Apparently she's not too sick to paint. I don't know, Dad said she could stay home though. <laughs> um, but she's gonna help me. So let's get everything adjusted so you guys can see what we're doing next, which is pretty much painting the other table. So maybe I'll, hang on, I'll turn you off and I'll be right back. See? Okay, so here we have my little girl, Lily Bell. <laughs> and just to, to prove that chalk paint is so easy to use that a child can do it and she's doing my second coat for me yeah. um, and she's doing an amazing job and I'm better than her and, and I guess she's better than me yeah. so um, I've been doing this for nine years nine years she says let's see what this, this girl <laughs> looks like Lily lean into the camera what? say hi lean into the camera and say hi lean down closer to the table why I don't want to get paint on well, you well don't get paint on you hi <laughs> okay Sometimes it's hard to see what you're doing and the person, but that's okay. So, do you want get me to help you? you? Yes. Or do you want me to stay here? I want you to like get over here and actually do work. Oh, like, man. you're the one who wanted me to do this. No, do you, you gotta wanted get to do it, silly girl. Well, all right. So I'm gonna grab another makeup brush because the makeup brushes are just fantastic for this. Yes, because then you can be you can be pretty. Well, the makeup there. brushes just hold so much more paint. It's insane. So I'll just start on the other side here. Yeah. Oh, this one's shedding, darn it. Okay, a tip that I have for you guys, I did not do it. Anytime you are using a new brush, you need to take some uh, tape and just put tape all over it to get all of the extra bristles out before you go getting crazy with it or else your brush is gonna shed. Ah, this one's shedding. I think I might just call this, I'm gonna get a different brush. That one's yes, different. please do. And then I'm gonna use tape. Yes, my, my girl Willie has everything under control. Yeah, I made this video. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I just want to show you guys, like, this is the this is the makeup brush. That thing's hanging in my way. Um, and then I just take, like, this is just like a sticker or label thing. And I just take and just push. See, and you can already see, like, there's, can you see it? There's hair that's hair whatever bristles that are coming off so if you just take and give it a really good yeah, the macaroni and this goes for any brush you get even the best ones give them a good stick in before you use them and after you wash them I would do it again because <laughs> getting yeah because you wash it in your hair this could still be easy. yeah getting hair in your paint is just a pain you gotta like get it out then fix the spot I've done it before but well, no, I put marker oh, in my hair, and I actually did it. I I wanted to dye my hair, so I put marker. Oh, the things that nine-year-olds do. All right, no? so let's try this one. Oh, yeah, I was eight. nine. I was nine oh. when I did it. <laughs> I know that, but no, it was like two months ago. So I must say that um, this makeup brush is not as stiff as that one. The bristles are soft, and the bristles are soft on that one, but that one's like, the one Lily's using is more dense. So it is actually easier to use. So like I said, I'm just starting out trying these makeup brushes. 
and I just learned a tip and I wanted to let you know. So you want to use one that's a little bit stiffer. And who you learn tip from? Yeah, I might need more paint. Yeah, I was just going to say that because... No, no. I'm going to start working down here. And then we don't want to forget the edges, but we're only painting the top, not the bottom. Yeah, I know. Okay. Dirt. So, all right, let me get some more paint here real quick. Lily, are you getting paint on yourself? Girl! Well, I don't okay. want it to stay on my hands. <laughs> right. um, one of the cool things about chalk paint, I'm not 100%, but because it does have like the kind of chalkiness in it, if you get it on you and you wash it right away, it comes like right out. Um, if you get it on you and leave it, sometimes it leaves a little bit of a mark. See, but that's why I put it on my pants. Yeah, I'm gonna, so I'm going to just try <laughs> some OxyClean on her pants. We've all got paint on us because, you know, their dad and I are down here painting, and then they come down and help out, and it's really fun. It's it's yes. very it's like zen. It's very relaxing. So let me get some more paint while Lily continues. Yeah, just a little bit. I barely have any paint left. Right. Jeez, <laughs> my brush is trying to get away. <laughs> it's possessed. <laughs> Well, yeah, you guys always see videos about, like, the so best things. So, just, so keep in mind, I poured the paint onto, I lifted up the mesh, poured the paint on the plate, and then I'm just going to put the mesh back over it to keep us from getting any little chunks. I'm supposed to hold it? Oh, you're holding it. Yeah, not you. You hold it. I need more. All right. Lily's holding it. She's, she's a leader. Spot. She's getting stuff done here. Yes. We got, we got things to take care of around here, like yes. painting tables. Um, oh, that's a good idea. There we go. So, like I said, chalk paint dries rather quick. Um, if you hit it with a blow dryer because you're anxious and you want to put another coat on it, it goes fast. Like, you can hit it with a blow dryer for less than 10 minutes and then do your next coat. Get wipe it on my pants. Oh, don't wipe it on your pants. Wipe it on, we've got a bunch of wipe it on So, you. another thing, no, don't wipe it on me, because my clothes are clean. Um, another thing, anytime there's like an old towel or like some old pants that have holes in them from the kids, I save them because especially things that are like t-shirt material work great for staining. So why like spend money on something when your kid grew out of it and put a bunch of holes in it? So I'm just going to go get this child something to wipe her hands on, or this young lady, so she doesn't wipe them on her pants, so I don't have to turn them into those things that I used to wipe them on. Whoa. Mm, but guess what? You gotta fight me for them if you do. And you don't want it, cause you know, you know who will win. Cause I'm stronger than you, cause I can pick you up. Yeah, and you're 40. We'll do a video later on how to stay looking young at 40. Cause I don't, I mean, maybe it's just me, but You're I don't really... Paint. Whoa! Touching paint. Good thing I have it inside out. Okay, so here's just a piece of fabric that came off of some pajamas that were all messed up. And Lily can use this to wipe yes, her hands on. Okay. Well, I, could use, I could use these. No, things. we don't want to waste paper towels when we well, have I do. Good. No, no, no. Okay, see, this is the thing. I'm very, very thrifty. I'm actually, I mean, I'll say frugal. I don't care. I'm cheap. Like, I bought my house at 25 you know? Yeah. Like, I'm good with money, and oh, geez. part of being good with money is being thrifty when you can. And so, even though it's just one paper towel, I'm like, no, nope, use this cloth because the paper towels cost money, and the Jeez. leftover cloth, Are I'm you gonna pay to you. Paint me? Kind of. I'm trying to take you down. Okay. Uh oh, I got a bristle in here. So, when you get a bristle, I don't, can you guys see? Okay. So, I got a bristle right here. What you do to pick up the bristle is you drag your brush across it. And then you'll pick it up. Did I get a bristle anywhere? I don't think you did. And then you just, you just, you can see the bristle, so you just pull see, it out of it. No, it's this brush. I haven't used this brush before. That means you're using. Brush sucks. It does. Um, I mean, it's still better than a paintbrush. I still would choose this over using a regular paintbrush, that's for sure. Um, but yours is really nice because it's nice and stiff. So, of course, your paint is going to be better. Your paint job is. And this slick brush. And, and, doing this and you've been, I mean, she's been doing this all of her life, like even when she was in her mom's womb. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I saw the ultrasound. She was just painting with chalk paint, nonetheless. <laughs> I don't even know how she got the chalk paint in the womb, but she somehow did. Yeah. Oh, there's a chunk. 
Oh, there's a bristle. Okay, so we're gonna take it's not it. fine. I don't know. Probably not, because that brush is really good. It doesn't let go of bristles. This brush, um, my mom got me a makeup little like brush set and mirror when I was like probably Lily's age, like nine. And so it had like a this cute little brush here and a couple other ones that had like the silver handles and it has a mirror with a silver handle. And um my mom's in heaven right now, but she's probably looking down going, you're using the makeup brush for paint. Yes, mom, I'm using the makeup brush for paint, but I'm going to wash it off, so it's okay. Um, but that might be why some of the bristles are falling out. This thing is like 30 some years old. Well, I had to, I mean, you wanted to put the paint there. Well, my paint. What? Oh, there's another bristle. That's yours. I know, this thing, I don't, this brush is not going to work for me. I'm going to have to find another one the next time we'll do some painting. Okay, I'm going to let Lily finish up anything that needs to be finished up because this brush is shedding like a cat in the like summer. Like a snake. Like a snake sheds its skin, this yes. brush is shedding itself. Okay. Okay. Right there. So Lily's just finishing up. And I'm going to talk to you guys for a second here. Let's see. Okay. That's, that's there we go. Okay, so Lily is finishing up painting the tables with the mint green. And after everything is dry, we're going to come back. We're going to sand our coat and see how well uh, the coat and goes after sanded. We also have to wash our paintbrushes right away. Very important. Um, and then we will apply the glaze. We'll do some distressing and we'll apply the glaze. So just kind of, um, well, I mean, obviously here in like two seconds, it's gonna come back and I'll be applying the glaze because fast forward. Um, but just hang tight and we're gonna do some glazing in a minute.